Hey guys, Eric here with Scott, uh, who flew in just to have this conversation, yeah, right? Absolutely. <laughs> with uh, you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this has been a huge week for DC comic book TV adaptations because iZombie, The Flash, Gotham, and Constantine all got picked up the series. They were all being made as pilots, but we didn't know if they'd go forward. They all are going forward. Uh, it's a lot of DC coming to TV it to sure join is. Arrow. Uh, you're a DC fan. What do you think, Scott? Uh, it's an amazing time to be alive, really, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's great, you know, and it's a, it's like a nice diverse sort of selection. It's not just superhero stuff either, right? Yeah. I mean, Constantine is obviously you know the supernatural, weird side of things, and then um, Gotham. I guess you know what? How would you classify Gotham? It's a gritty crime Cop thriller, drama, yeah. right? So, um, and then of course, Flash and, and Arrow is more superhero stuff. So, I mean, you, you've got this this uh, real kind of breadth and depth of the DC universe being represented, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. It's not like they're all feeling like carbon copies of each other. Uh, we're not going to talk about iZombie a lot because it is kind of the outlier. It's a DC comic, but it was never based. It was Vertigo. It was never based with the DC superheroes. But let's talk about the fact that these different networks, because, okay, The Flash is a spinoff of Arrow, it would be on CW, Haswell, iZombie, but Constantine's on NBC, Gotham's on Fox, yeah. uh, and so it seems very doubtful. We know Gotham's not going to connect. They basically said no connection, and then even cross networks pretty difficult with Constantine. Yeah, sure. So it's it's unlikely it'll cross over. What do you think yeah, about that? Yeah, it's fr it's frustrating. Yeah, right? because when we see with Marvel what they're doing between TV and the movies, the everything's feeding in. You know, Hail Hydra. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know, it's like. Uh, oh, how great would it be to have Constantine drop in Goth and in Gotham for an episode? Right, you know? right. Of course, Gotham. It feels like they're really building the, out the whole Batman universe from the get go. So yeah. they're going to be pretty busy anyway. Yeah. Um, but it, it's frustrating as a fan, I think. Yeah, I mean, Gotham being a prequel, I guess it's more understandable, no crossovers. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd love to see you know Oliver Queen meet John Constantine. Yeah, yeah. And it totally. just doesn't see you know again. We who knows? It's not it's it's not unprecedented for two networks to agree. And Warner Brothers produces both shows. It just seems like it. It's not going to be likely. It, when you look back on like the Buffy era, it seemed yeah. it was like surprising enough when she showed up on Angel once right. or something, and they were totally like being shot in the same place, <laughs> made by the same people, right? So yeah. Uh, so, but you know, we're gonna the Flash and Arrow are gonna meet up with one another, right? right? The, so. the, we're guessing that would probably be a lot of crossovers there. Yeah. Uh, something we've been talking about for a while though, ever since Arrow began, really, is the fact that DC is building this movie universe. With uh, uh, finally, you know, we're getting Batman versus Superman, and now they've confirmed Justice League after. And a lot of people, a lot of fans, because they love Arrow now, are like, "Will he be in yeah. the Justice League?" Now, The Flash too. They've been very cagey about it. Sometimes they said no. Sometimes they say we don't know. Yeah. What do you think? Because it sounds like it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Well, and uh, the fans used to say that about the Tom Welling, uh, Clark, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Would he? Why can't he be on the big screen? And back then, it didn't make. That argument never made a ton of sense to me. Like, right. you, you don't want to put your small screen guy on the big screen. Now, a few years later, I feel like it, it's more viable of an option with the way Marvel has sort of set up this, you know, this kind of leaping from TV to movies and back. Um, but still, I f don't think Warner Brothers is going to do that. Yeah. I, uh, I, for one thing, to, those heroes seem younger to me, mm -hmm. right, than, than um, what, uh, Ben Affleck's Batman. Right, and, right. Um, um, Henry Superman, Cavill. Henry Cavill. So uh, I don't know. I'm, and it, but it begs the question. So then, what is this Justice League? If you don't have the Flash and you don't have Green Arrow mm -hmm. and maybe not Green Lantern, we don't know. Right. But so, or do they have them? And it's just like just totally different. Yeah, it's totally different yeah. people. And yeah, I also think that it's kind of a weird situation because DC is so behind the curve on the movie side that it, wouldn't it be nice for them to use Arrow and the universe building it's doing to not, to have yeah. done a lot of the work for them. Yeah. You know, so and, that's why I think it's weird. And why can't the universe be built on the small screen nowadays? Like it's it's a little bit of an old school mentality to mm -hmm. think you have to do it all on the big screen right, right. in this day and age. So uh, because again, to go back to Marvel, they're they're building another part of their universe out on Netflix streaming with yeah. Daredevil and everything. So, but we know that's connected in. I know yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for that Arrow episode, or maybe the Flash now, where they hear about uh, the incident in Metropolis, you know, with the aliens or something. But, yeah, but who knows? Uh, I do want to ask though, of these projects, what's the one you're most excited about with all these new DC shows? I think I got to go with Constantine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I just I, I love the character, um, the Keanu Reeves movie. You know whatever you want to say about it, it didn't really get the character quite right. And um, 
and I just like the idea of seeing him on, on the small screen. I think the uh, I think NBC would be willing to go pretty dark with, with Constantine that yeah. nowadays. Look uh, at Hannibal. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. you know. So so that's my the one I'm looking forward to. And I think I mean, you felt like that one maybe ha didn't have as great a shot as being picked up as the others, right? I think it was, yeah. I think everyone was pretty much expecting Flash and Gotham were yeah. home runs. I think Constantine was the only one that seemed a little iffier, but... They, yeah. they went for it. Yeah, today. so yeah. I'm, I'm, that's it. What about, what about you? Uh, the Flash, I'd say, and it's mostly because I'm just loving Arrow so much. You yeah. know, I really, I think that show is just completely, you know, hit its groove, uh, is really delivering a lot of fun material. Uh, even though I did agree with a lot of people that Grant Gustin uh, just felt very young uh, when he came on the show, I did like him. And now I'm just curious to see them, you know, expand this universe. They've they've done baby steps with superpowers on Arrow this season, I think, to kind of help set up that this could exist in this world. Sure. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited to see where it goes and, uh, you know, to get uh, maybe Weather Wizard and some of those <laughs> uh, guys. Please. Well, because we didn't really get those guys on the old Flash show either. Yeah. Like they, st they were more sort of street level bad guys mostly on, yeah. on the old Flash show. Although so. Mark Hamill's trickster. He was... That's true, which predated his Joker. Exactly, so. exactly. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Uh, which of these DC shows are you most excited about? And what do you think about the fact that they don't seem like they're going to connect all together with Constantine and with the movies? Uh, does that upset you? Or are you cool with it being all separate universes? Let us know. We'll have plenty more about all these shows coming up on IGN.